good day everybody welcome to the second day of the hunt this is actually our fifth or sixth day of the trip but we were totally rained in yesterday so we've checked the weather and we're gonna have at least two days of huntable weather we may get stuck up there for one but the next three days is really all the time we have before we have to start heading back you know this trip is 12 days long in total it's really been four days of travel and now it is time to get after it we've seen all the sites had the most beautiful hike of my life but it is time to hunt hard and get it done Ooh, he's on that rock right now we're splitting up i think the only way i'm even going to have a chance to kill one with my bow is if we do because this terrain is steep and it's nasty and i'm gonna have to get above them to have any kind of a chance to sneak down on them and so my plan is to get up real high find a cave to sleep in or a flat spot to throw my tent up and i'm just gonna stay up there with these animals because we have seen tar and chamois in both of these two avalanche chutes these little creek beds the last three days so the animals are there i'm gonna kind of pull a texas whitetail move i'm just gonna go up there and sit and wait on them up this uh, creek here and head up to that avalanche chute up there. That's where I'm going to spend the next three days. Good, Good luck. luck. Be safe. We've you too. In reaches, I'll message you. Yep. See you, buddy. See you in a few days. Yep. <laughs> Get her done. Toddy, where are we heading? Be safe, buddy. Heading into the unknown. The unknown. I love it. A couple more hours up the valley here and up to a nice little basin that's tucked away there. The old kill hole. Kill hole. <laughs> Found a couple of tar way up on the skyline over here, but uh, I guess that's actually where we're going to go. It's a whole lot higher and steeper, thicker than I remember, but that's where we're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tom. <laughs> he, he grew up hunting these mountains. Every time we've been up one of these shoots, he's like, it's a bit tougher than I remember, but it'll do. <laughs> it's giving us a good workout. My legs have never been so sore. It's been about an hour since we left JT to go up his chute, and now we're Gonna head up ours. We're a few kilometers away. Got me saying kilometers already. A few kilometers away. So it's just me and Todd now. And we're gonna head up the chute that is behind us. It's probably gonna take us a few hours to get up there. It's, it's a bit dodgy, uh, according to him. So another thing that's really cool, they, they put these stones, they stack them on top of each other as like trail markers, trail heads. You know, there's not always the big orange signs. We're off the path right now. So you can kind of know on your way back the way to go, which is really important, especially when it's dark. My pack's about, I'm gonna say 45 pounds today. So there's I've taken probably eight or nine pounds out of it. So it's even that little bit feels a lot better. But let me tell you, it adds up. Every mile you go, it adds up. Goal now is to trek up this chute. And then hopefully we're gonna get on some tar and chamois. We've seen lots of tracks on the way in here even seen some red deer tracks. So now it's just putting in the physical work to get to the spot. Then you can just climb up the avalanche. Like it basically builds a stairway out of ice. That sounds sketchy. It's kind of late in the spring when like all the kind of avalanches are falling. It's packed. Yeah, it was packed. Like it was like walking on concrete. <laughs> Okay, just to get up around the corner there. 
we can go the other way. This way. Adventure time. Maybe there'll be some mermaids up there with some Gatorade across here. Okay. Yeah. Take it back off. Hope the rifle's okay. Uh, find out. Ow. <sighs> <sighs> it's another bone. Speed bump. of the way up now this day we're going like straight up but we're starting to get into some tracks and some some poop so hopefully it's not too much further and then we're gonna be on this evening we're almost to the top but uh the streams are getting less and less the higher we're going so we gotta stop and get some water so we can have enough water for tonight forest now and it's starting to turn into like kind of like a west texas scrub country there's a lot of like you know dry looking plants um you know, i don't even know what they're called but uh, the country's getting a little bit more rough dry and when you go up to like 8,000 feet um the plants just stop growing it's just rocks that's where we started today it's right down at that river basin now we're up here over 3,000 feet we are above some animals right now, but there's also some above us as well. So we're going to try to get a little bit higher and try to find a place to camp. This is like, <laughs> like, where do you set up a tent right here? Spotted. Spotted a tar? Yep. I heard. The shade is? Yeah, I do. Just around to the right from there. Yeah, I need 550 away now. 550? Yeah. We're gonna try to get a little bit closer. Sneak in there. It'll be a long shot, but anything I see up here is gonna be a trophy. The effort just to get here makes the experience just
Scott says we're officially in the tar zone right now. This view is incredible. On this little ridge, we got a good view of multiple distances. They could really, literally come out anywhere right here. There's poop all over the ground, tar poop. They eat on these shrubs. dropped off some of our gear. We're gonna sleep right here on this, uh, this little ridge. It's not much, but set up the tent. I got my uh, sleeping bag and my sleeping pad right there. Cooking set. And I've just got a little bit of food and um, my clothes in that pack and then my kill kit. And we're basically gonna head up this mountain. See if we can get one of these goats and come back down here and sleep tonight. If it doesn't happen tonight, it's gonna happen tomorrow because we are in the kill zone right now. How far is that? It's uh, You're dialing perfectly. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze. Back. Squeeze whenever. Yeah. Um, so as soon as I just wanna aim this quarter and kind of to us. Yeah. Just wide on that button. Front right leg. Front right leg, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze. Got him. Killed him dead. Oh my gosh. Dude. Tie down, brother. Wait. Uh, no, I think I'd have seen him rolling down. He's rolling? That's a nice tie. <laughs> Holy damn. He did right exactly like you said he was going to yeah. do. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I just put it right on his shoulder. Yeah, no. Yep, um, as far as uh, kill shots go, they don't get much better than that. <laughs> best to leave it, I think. <laughs> yes. Oh, Fading my. light. Yeah. It just, uh, I don't know, everything went like it planned. <laughs> got to within range and got set up in a pretty good position. And yeah, we were about, we got about 15 minutes of light left and he, he popped out on this little ridge above us at 275 yards and it took a little bit of time for Justin to find him in the scope but <laughs> yeah, it when, did. He, when he did and just squeezed off that shot and dropped him on the spot so <sighs> another damn paradise dude fist bump yeah. in the sundown yeah. golly it's 
place I've ever seen. This is the most beautiful place in New Zealand right now. This is absolutely the most beautiful place I've ever seen. We have the moon over here, over those mountains, and then the sun down there. And me and Todd went through the nastiest stuff. Literally, it makes you bleed. Like, it, what do you call that <laughs> kind Spaniard, of plant? It's a Spaniard grass. Spaniard grass? It's absolutely terrible. We hiked all the way through there, all the way up here. Todd spotted him, and then, boom. Oh, you just gotta take a second to take this in. <laughs> Todd, this is an absolute paradise, man. Absolute paradise. It's, it's, it's like hell getting up here, but it's heaven when you get up to the top. Unbelievable, I don't know what's better. This moment, the tar, like that view, this is absolutely incredible. That's my first tar, and it's a long ways away. So we're gonna wait. Uh, it's about to be dark, it's gonna get cold. It'd take way too long to get up there right now. They don't have bears or coyotes or wolves or anything up here, and it's gonna be cold tonight. So the meat should be fine, and then we're gonna start our recovery in the morning. But right now, we gotta trip back. Making camp earlier, we gotta set up camp, eat dinner, and then get warm for tonight. We're sleeping on the mountain for the first time on this trip, so <laughs> so blessed. We got a clear weather day. Sundown. Todd called it. He spotted the tar 800 yards away. We worked our way up, and he finally came out right when he was supposed to. So the sun's going down, y'all. We're gonna recover the animal in the morning, and we'll see you on the next one. fist bump man so awesome oh god i might die i've never been this tired in my life the beauty of like fall in a situation like this in the water first thing you do is get your pack off okay yeah gotcha. life's worth more than what's in your pack yeah 